So what seems to us in the story of Babel, like it's a deformation of language and culture, it is actually a return to God's call for humanity to flourish as a diverse community centered around the tree of life and not around a dead tower. We are the people of the cross. And he doesn't always promise to take away our struggles or particular temptations. He may do, but that's not the promise of the Bible. But he does promise to transform us. And often it's in ongoing brokenness and weakness that the power of uh, the Spirit is seen as we persevere. My story is so precious to me because um, the majestic hand of God has been engaged in writing the story. And as I sat to prepare for YLG 2016, my sister walked to me and said to me, can I be part of your story? And so she began to put together artwork to represent my life map. I chose the Unreached People Group workshop because I serve in an Unreached People Group, uh, which is a Japanese. And I wanted to go there to learn more about how to reach them, but also to kind of represent them. Because I feel like sometimes Japan is neglected or ignored in those kind of settings uh, because of how wealthy and our, our idea of what Japan is. Uh, but Japan, there are very, very few Christians. Hier dans nos ateliers sur les enfants et l'évangélisation, nous avons à parler sur l'impact que nous devons avoir sur nos sur les enfants dans nos et, euh, dans nos communautés. Et là, nous avons vu que les enfants ont beaucoup de défis à relever par rapport aux pressions familiales, par rapport à leur vie, à l'encadrement, à l'encadrement, à l'environnement. Et également, nous avons vu que nous, a, nous devons prier pour ces enfants. Mais maintenant, pendant qu'ils sont petits, ils ont encore le temps de comprendre et ils peuvent le faire. Donc nous devons tous ensemble commencer à mettre en eux des stratégies pour pouvoir envoyer les enfants vers le Seigneur. Merci. I'm from Burundi and you know what Burundi went through as a country, people killing each other and Christians included, even ministers of the gospel, we are quite involved in this. But I want to just be grateful to the Lord for what He is doing. And the message that I heard today, it was so powerful, so encouraging. It was bringing healing. To me, it really ministered to me. And how I wish every Burundian to hear this message of peace, of hope in our wounded hearts. Brothers and sisters, the need is great. The gospel is good. The command is clear. The world is waiting. And ultimately, our God is worthy. We need a holistic approach to evangelism that is biblically faithful, culturally relevant, spiritually empowered, and relationally effective. want to hang on the past, I want to live in the present because the wounded Savior has stretched his healing hand on my inner wounds that no one could see. And I'd love that message to be proclaimed all around the globe.